Well, it was a Kenyan sweep at the Boston Marathon. Both runners making their Boston debuts with a win. Joffrey Kirui crossed the finish line in two hours, nine minutes and 37 seconds. And for the women, Edna Kiplagat cruised to victory in two hours, 21 minutes and 53 seconds. There were also world best times in the wheelchair races with Manuela Schera of Switzerland winning for the women and Marcel Hogue earning his first win. It's been an exciting day at the finish line. And that's where WMUR's Nauko Funayama starts our live team coverage tonight. Nauko? Tom, Jen, it was a gorgeous spring day here in Boston, especially at the finish line. So for spectators, it was a wonderful day temperature wise, but for the runners, it was a little bit hot. And many of the runners we spoke to told us it was pretty tough out there, especially in the middle of the race. Well, we caught up with some of the local New Hampshire runners right as they crossed the finish line. There were a lot of smiles, although some were disappointed that they didn't do as well time wise, but that's not all that unexpected given the warmer temperatures. One veteran marathon runner said to us, we're from New Hampshire. We love the cold. We train in the cold. This, this is way too hot for us. But of course, the fans, the crowd, the cheering, that is what makes Boston special. Uh, it was hot, you know, but it was, you know, it's fun. It's uh, greatest, greatest race in the world. Uh, the crowd carries you uh, the entire way, so it's unbelievable, unbelievable. A little bit of tailwind, which definitely helped, but a warm day is tough. We've been training in sort of sub-zero wind chills all winter in New Hampshire, so it was a tough run, but um, successful. I PR'd today, so. It's so amazing with all the spectators and the people the whole way. I mean, they carry you really throughout the race, especially the end, the last miles. They're, they're everywhere, and it's just like you can't help but smile, even though you're like pain face. It's like. Yay! <laughs> Congratulations to all of the runners. Some terrific stories out there. And Kristen Caroso here with me now. And you've got a really great one on it your It is hand. such a special day here in Boston, Nalco. As you know, we spent the entire day here, much of it at the finish line, watching these runners cross over. Many of these runners overcome challenges and disabilities, including one man from Nashua who ran this marathon blind. Randy Pierce is from Nashua and crossed the finish line in Boston for the third time. Great day. Fans, spectators are so amazing. That's what makes this race stand out. They're celebrating human spirit. And you can't get anything better than celebrating human spirit. Randy is blind and runs with the help of a guide. On a good day, it's all jubilation and celebration. Some days, this was work. <laughs> today was work. He says he had a few collisions today because of the volume of people, but he says despite some hardships, he made it. You know, I used to be afraid of the word disability when I went blind. I'm not. I celebrate ability awareness, and that's true for anybody. We all should celebrate the ability we have and go out and live to your peak potential. And that is what so many runners do from the Granite State, putting in the time to train and complete the marathon to not only better their lives, but better the lives of others. Lieutenant Sean Haggerty with the New Hampshire State Police just finished his 12th marathon, raising money for cops with kids with cancer. Last couple of years, we've uh... We've been able to uh, write a check to a local New Hampshire family who has the unfortunate uh, situation of having a child with cancer. Rhonda Hodge is from Salem and also ran for a charity. She runs for Crystal Campbell, one of the people killed in the marathon bombing. She was brought to tears thinking about this race. This year we got to spend a lot of time with um, just our team and we met Crystal's dad and it's I don't know, it's life changing. An experience these runners say they won't forget. Come out here and celebrate how much we have in common and how to be kind like is happening all over this race course. That's when we win the best race of all the human race. That's what it means to me. Such a powerful statement there from Randy Pierce. I'm still in awe of what he's able to accomplish and uh, watching him today just cross over that finish line. Just an amazing moment. A very, very inspirational story. Well, coming up a little bit later on in sports, we're going to check in with the top New Hampshire runners, both men and women. So definitely stay tuned from that for that. For Kristen Carosa, I'm Nalco Funayama. We are live in Boston for WMUR News 9.